Hi everyone, happy Friday. It's Lisa here with your weekly update for Live Love Animal Rescue. Let's start off the week with our intakes. So we also have kind of a theme this week with our intakes. Uh, both of the two dogs that we took in this week have uh, letters for names, interestingly enough, and that's LB and BG. <laughs> we didn't plan that, but here it is. So that's kind of fun. Um, they will both be up for adoption soon, we hope. Um, we will give you more info as we have it and keep an eye on our social media for their stories and more details. Um, we have a handful of dogs who are on foster to adopt this week. Mosley, Sir Snoopington, Lovely, and Indio, who is in Colorado. For finalized adoptions, we have Sammy, Banana, who is now named Izzy, and Morgan. Uh, let's talk a little bit about medical, which is always a big one. So um, we'll start off with Jax here. Now, um, Jax, right before he came back into rescue, um, his previous owner had a biopsy done and we got those results back. So it shows that he has an autoimmune disease called pemphigus fallacious, I think. <laughs> um, so basically we're working with the vet team to explore two potential treatment options. So one option is that we can make some slight adjustment to his medications and um, the other one is to start him on steroids. So his skin is looking pretty good right now with the current medication that he has. So we're hoping that we can um, just kind of change some dosage there and continue with that. Um, we'll also be doing twice weekly baths with some medicated shampoo and also daily mousse for um, the crusting on his back paws. And that's kind of the, the only main area of concern that we have right now. So big thanks to his foster mom, Susan, for providing a safe and loving home for him while we figure out the best path forward in terms of his medical care. Um, but if you're interested in learning more about Jax, he is a big smushy marshmallow of a dog and we love him so much. Uh, please reach out and we'll give you more information. Um, other medical news, Judah had a vet visit. Um, she was getting a little bit itchy, so she had a cytopoint injection, different type of flea meds, and um, luckily that seems to be helping. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that and see if um, anything else needs to be done. And then this week, our spay and neuters were Banana, Morgan, Colby, and Lamb Chop. So a very busy week in medical. Now, one thing that we haven't talked about in a while that I'd like to kind of re-bring your attention to is our Families Forever program. So the Families Forever program is um, really aimed towards helping reduce pet homelessness in our community and keeping dogs in families that already know and love them. Um, so this week we actually were able to help two dogs from the same family. They originally reached out asking to surrender them to us, um, but as we were able to talk with them, we learned that really they needed help with um, affording their care. So this week, uh, Cookie and William came in to update their vaccines and get a wellness exam, and they went home with flea meds. Uh, we learned that Willie, um, on his blood work, we noticed some underlying causes that could explain some occasional seizures that he's been having. So we're waiting for the uh, final results to really determine specifically what the next steps are, um, but it could be seizure medication. Um, we're not sure, we'll let you know when we have more information there. Um, by the end of the visit, Cookie and William went back with their loving family and did not need to be surrendered. So we're very happy about that. Um, we will be in touch with the family, of course, in close communication as we get the results back and we are ready to move forward with a further care plan. Um, we are only able to have our Families Forever program thanks to generous donors like all of you watching. Um, and thank you so much for your support of this program. If you would like to specifically support our Families Forever program to help um, prevent surrenders either to local shelters or to us or to anywhere to help keep dogs in their home, um, please visit our website and you can always indicate on your donation that you are um, earmarking it for Families Forever. Um, and it's, it's a really big need in our community right now is really being able to um, support families through difficulties that they may be having um, so that we can prevent dogs from uh, losing their homes. All right, so thank you again for watching. Um, as I mentioned, our, we have the donation option on our website, which is really the main way that we're able to continue to do what we do. Um, you can also donate through PayPal or Venmo. Facebook or Instagram, lots of different options for you. Um, on our donation page on our website, you can also visit our Amazon wish list. 
Uh, you can visit our cuddly campaigns, which have um, specific needs detailed for each dog that needs a little extra support and rescue. And you can also um, designate us as your Amazon Smile Charity. And so we get a quarterly check from Amazon, um, thanks to everyone and their regular Amazon orders. So uh, go ahead and designate us as your charity if you haven't done that yet. Um, another big need that we always, always need are fosters. Um, our local shelters are super full. If you saw our, uh, not our recent post, but City of Long Beach Animal Care Services did a recent post on how full they are. Um, I invite you to check that out. They're doing really great work in the community um, and we can only support them as far as we have fosters. Um, and we would love to be able to support them and our other local shelters further. So if you have a spot in your home, please, please reach out to us. We would love to match you up with a dog in need um, and be able to save more lives in our community. So thank you once again, and we will talk again next week.